Policy News. In an unexpected New Year message, the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has called for an end to confrontation between his country and South Korea. During the surprise address, which was broadcast on state television, he said the two nations only had war to show for the state of conflict that exists between them. James Kelly reports. As in so many other cities, fireworks mark the start of 2013 in Pyongyang. But away from the dazzling pyrotechnics, North Korea's leader was making some eye-catching comments of his own. In a televised New Year address, the first of its kind for 19 years, Kim Jong-un delivered what sounded like a message of peace. An important issue in putting an end to the division of the country and achieving its reunification is to remove confrontation between the North and the South. The past records of inter-Korean relations show that confrontation between fellow countrymen leads to nothing but war. How his comments will go down in Seoul isn't clear. Last month, South Korea was furious when its neighbour launched a rocket, purportedly to take a satellite into space, claiming North Korea was really conducting a disguised test of long-range missile technology. The United Nations also deplored the launch, saying it broke a UN ban on missile tests. South Korea's president-elect, Park Geun-hae, has vowed to engage with the North and called for dialogue to build confidence. But she's also made tough demands on Pyongyang, saying that it must abandon its nuclear weapons ambitions if the two sides are to coexist and cooperate. Whether words will be matched with actions will be key to whether those hoping for a thawing of relations between the two countries will have something to celebrate in 2013. James Kelly, BBC News. More and more black Africans are bleaching their skins. In South Africa, researchers estimate that one in every three women use skin whiteners. They say the past few